Hey, welcome to Collins Creatures. Today, I'm going to be talking about the difference between venomous and poisonous. The reason is because people often misuse poisonous when they really mean venomous. So, I'm going to be teaching the difference so if you're one of those people, you can get it right. This is an American toad. It is poisonous. They have two big poison glands behind its eyes and small poison glands across their body. And these glands secrete a toxin that, if ingested, will make the animal eating it sick. So what is poison? Well, a poison is a substance that causes harm through ingestion, inhalation, or absorption. As it pertains to animals, you're not really going to inhale anything, though a variety of environmental toxins can be inhaled. For animals, most poisons are either ingested, like the toad, or sometimes toxins can be absorbed through the skin. Plants are much more common sources of poison by both ingestion and absorption. If an animal or plant contains a poison, it is poisonous, like this toad. So you already know that the toad is poisonous. Some other examples of poisonous animals and plants are poison dart frogs, which get their poison from the bugs they eat in the wild, but are completely non-toxic in captivity. the flamboyant cuttlefish, which has poisons in their muscle tissue, hammerhead worms, which have a neurotoxin in their mucus, giant African millipedes produce a mildly toxic irritant, and some millipedes produce cyanide. Monarch butterflies are beautiful, but poisonous. Their bright colors are used as a warning to predators. Pufferfish contain a potent neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin in their skin and liver. Despite being very poisonous, they're also tasty, and master chefs that are specially trained can turn them into delicious fugu. Red spotted newts also contain tetrodotoxin, and their red spots denote their toxicity. You should recognize this plant as poison ivy, which has urishial oil on its leaves, which is highly irritating to the skin. Urishial oil is also found on poison oak, poison sumac, and poison wood. This is bittersweet nightshade, which has toxic alkaloids all throughout the plant. Other related plants, like deadly nightshade, are, as the name suggests, deadly. This is Parker, my Mexican Rendy tarantula. She is venomous. She has two very large fangs that she'll use to bite and inject venom, and for people, causes pain and swelling at the site of envenomation. So what is venom? Venom is a toxic substance that is injected using either fangs or stingers. You already know that the tarantula is venomous. Some other examples of venomous animals are other spiders like black widows that have a highly potent venom that causes paralysis and muscle spasm. Snakes are probably the most common example when people misuse poisonous when they really mean venomous. This is a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are vipers, and they have long retractable fangs that they use to deliver their venom. This is a gaboon viper, which has the longest fangs of any venomous snake. Another group of venomous snakes are elapids, like the king cobra, which is the longest elapid, as well as the longest venomous snake in the world. Elapids have small fixed fangs, and another kind of elapid is the green mamba. And the last group of venomous snakes are rear fang venomous snakes, like this mangrove snake. Rear fang venomous snakes are generally not dangerous. Hognose snakes are also rear fang venomous, and are one of the most common pet snakes. Gila monsters are one of the few venomous lizards. They have a very strong bite and will not let go once they bite down, making sure a lot of venom gets in, and their venom is described to be like that of lava in your veins. Scorpions store their venom in their bulb on the end of their tail, called the telson, that they then deliver 
through the stinger. Jellyfish have tiny structures in their stinging cells called nematocysts, or small harpoons that sting their victims. Nematocysts are found in other cnidarians, like sea anemones. Lionfish have venomous spines on their dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins that deliver a very painful sting. They are also delicious, like the pufferfish. Most rays have a venomous barb on their tail that they use in self-defense. Aquariums will trim the barbs of their rays to prevent any danger. Centipedes have specialized mouth parts called toxic cognats that they use to deliver their venom. Honeybees, along with other kinds of bees, wasps, and hornets, have stingers that they use to defend themselves and the hive. So my final animal is an eastern garter snake, which most people think are not venomous, but they are in fact rear fanged venomous, like the other snakes I said earlier, but they could also be poisonous, because if their diet includes toads or red spotted newts, the poisons from their prey will build up in the snake's liver, making them both poisonous and venomous. So that is poisonous versus venomous, how to tell the difference. So I hope you enjoyed and learned the difference between poisonous and venomous, so next time you're in that situation, you can get it right. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will stick some on Colin's Creatures.